everyone, welcome back to the Story Time Family. How are you today? Is it winter where you are? It's summer here now, and let me tell you, it has been boiling, and today is no exception. I'm just trying to stay cool, reading a book with you. Thanks for taking the time to sit down and read with us. Today we have Little People, Big Dreams, Ayrton Senna, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vergara. Let's have a look. Little Ayrton was the second son of a wealthy family from Sao Paulo, Brazil. He always had grazed knees and bumps from where he couldn't keep still. The only time he was quiet was sitting on his driver's lap, grabbing the wheel. Ayrton was just four when his father built him a go-kart to play with. But for him, it was not just a toy. Everyone was shocked when he started the engine and made his first lap. It was like he had been driving his whole life. One day, Ayrton was brought home by a police officer who had caught him driving his father's car on the road. He was so small that he barely reached the pedals. The police first thought that a ghost was driving. Ayrton couldn't help how much he loved driving. At his first official race, most of the drivers were 15, 18, or even 20 years old. None of them could believe their eyes when an eight-year-old child overtook their go-karts and beat them all. Of course, he was not always the winner. But still, for him, every defeat was a chance to learn something new. Once, after losing a race due to the rain, he spent days practicing, even forgetting to show up for dinner. Before every race, Ayrton used to read a quote from the Bible. He believed in God with all his heart, and every time he jumped into his little rocket, he prayed to become the best go-kart driver in South America. Even though he knew he would miss his family and friends very much, Ayrton decided to leave home and move to England. It was time to try his luck as a single-seated driver and make his way to Formula One. Maybe his first team was not the bookie's favorite, but Ayrton was ready to give the leading racers some competition. One of them was a French driver called Alain Prost. He and Ayrton got along as well as a cat and a dog. They became teammates and their rivalry a legend. In their first season, Ayrton and Elaine won 15 out of the 16 Formula One races. Still, Ayrton ended up winning one more than Elaine, and he was crowned as the world champion. Japan, Monaco, San Marino, he memorized every circuit, knowing each curve like the back of his hand. Ayrton's mechanics loved reading his reports, which were always full of little tips and big ideas. When someone crashed during practice, Ayrton was the only driver to stop. He ran in front of the cars, turned off the engine, and saved his friend's life. From that day on, safety in competitions became his number one fight. Ayrton won three world championships and more than 40 Grand Prix. Still, it was nothing compared to winning in Brazil, his home. He ended the race driving with a broken gearbox, so exhausted that he needed help to leave the car. And every time the engines roar at the circuit and a new race is about to start, the crowds remember little Ayrton. The bold, bright kid, loved by millions and missed by all, the greatest driver of all time. And that was Ayrton Senna, Little People, Big Dreams. 
I hope you enjoyed the inspiring story behind Ayrton Senna, one of the greatest drivers in history. If you like a copy of this book, the links are in the description below. And if you haven't, do subscribe for more stories like this. Give us a like or leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Thanks for dropping by. We'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye. Let's get started. A hero like you. Is someone a hero because they're strong or smart? Or is it more about what's inside a person's heart? Let's take a look inside this book and see what heroes do. You may find a hero can be someone just like you. Heroes care for people and make sure they're okay. They help the sick get well again, assisting night and day. Heroes are like firefighters, strong and very brave. They risk their lives if there are any people they can save. Heroes care for nature and every living thing. As they work to help the earth, they hear creation sing. Heroes are our loyal friends, honorable and brave. They fight for truth and do what's right, even when afraid. Always alert and ready, heroes just know what to do. If someone is in danger, they will race to their rescue. Heroes always do their best to help someone in need. They think of others' feelings and don't act for selfish greed. Heroes take a stand against the things they know are wrong. They fight for justice and protect because their hearts are strong. Heroes can fix broken things. They like to make things better. They use the talents that they have. They're helpful and they're clever. Heroes work hard at their jobs and always do their best not just to meet their own needs, but so others can be blessed. Heroes find solutions to the problems that we face. They even invent ways to make the world a better place. Heroes are those moms and dads who love their family, teaching and empowering them to be all they can be. Anyone can be a hero, whether girl or boy or man, by helping others, doing right, and being the best they can. So if you see a problem and there's something you can do, then know that what the world needs is a hero just like you. Hope you enjoyed a hero like you. See, anyone can be a hero, including you and me. If you would like to own a copy of this book, the links are in the description below. If you enjoyed this book, do give us a like and subscribe for more stories like this. And leave us a comment. We always love to hear from you. Till we see you again, you take care of yourself and your family. And thanks for dropping by. Bye-bye.